In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can uh, filter based on the percentage distance of two values. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to the Custom tab in the View screen, and then click the Filter Assistant button, which is this green button with the plus sign on it. It'll bring up the Filter Assistant screen, and let's just do an example here. Let's say that we want to say that the, uh, the volume is within 10% today, so we'll just grab volume from the technicals on the left, and let's say it's within 10% of the volume the day before. So let's grab volume and put one for the days ago. And what that's going to do is it's going to compare all the volumes from today against yesterday's volume that have only a 10% variance between them. It may take a second to run because it has to pull that stuff from the historical prices. Uh, you can also, let's just go back in here and let's change that up a little bit. Um, let's say that we want today's closing price, let's say today's closing price to be within 10% of today's opening price. So you would show that in this way on the screen. You have less than or equal to and then 10 on there. Hit save. And as another example, let's say that volume today is within 10% of 100,000. So let's just deselect a field on the right side so there's nothing selected and put 100,000 over here and this will say any stocks that are within 10% of 100,000. So if we go to historical prices, you'll see that the volume is within 10% of 100,000. So there's many different combinations that you can use to compare things. Another example is if you wanted to look at Bollinger Bands. That's one request I had. So let's choose uh, Bollinger Bands based on SMA. Let's say the lower band for the 20-day SMA Bollinger Band one day ago is within 5% of the upper band from uh, yesterday. And you could repeat this process for as many days as you want. So if you're looking for a squeeze that's extended over several days, you could do one rule for the number of days ago being one, and then another rule for the number of days ago on both sides being two, and just kind of build that out looking for a pattern or a trend in a squeeze on the Bollinger Bands. So anything that you can do here, you can also do in the dashboard. So just repeat that process by going over to the dashboard and then going into the rules screen and that will allow you to repeat that. And right now it's just uh, refreshing so it's going to take it a second here. So now we can go over to the dashboard and if we define a new field here and we'll just call this Bollinger Bands and if we make that a pro and we can just specify it the exact same way. Go under Indicators, Bollinger Bands, SMA, the lower from one day ago is less than or equal to, which means within 10% of the, and actually let's do 5% there instead of 10%, of the uh, upper Bollinger Band for, on the SMAs from yesterday. And you can define several of these rows in here to kind of look for a trend. So you can use this in both places, the dashboard and the custom filtering. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. My email address is questions at eyeintheskyscreener.com. Thank you very much.